hasn't allowed a rushing touchdown. A big part of that is they have one of the best linebacking cores, if not the best linebacking core in the conference. But don't forget about the big boys. At first, you know, I was kind of selfish, you know, as a defensive lineman, you want to be able to get tackles and, you know, eventually I bought in and I got a great group of guys behind me, all of them are like great friends to me. And so I take I take pride with that, you know, if a, if a center or a guard gets up to the linebackers, I feel bad about it. The whole chemistry of the defense in general is great. We're blessed to have three excellent linebackers behind us who uh, make our jobs easier. So uh, I think the relationship that we have is a great one. And uh, I think that it can, it just, over the season, it's just going to keep getting stronger. Everybody's got a job. Everybody's trying to do their job every play. And the defensive line especially has just been doing a great job of working hard this year. The Hawkeyes are playing some pretty good defense. But statistically, it's Michigan State who brings in the nation's best. Every game, we want to show what we can do. And uh, knowing that they have one of the best defenses kind of, you know, kind of makes us shoot for that, too. You know, we want to be at the top of the Big Ten. And uh, that's always our goal, is just to be the most dominant defense out there. Iowa's defense has been stout, but they've struggled getting to the quarterback. That was until this weekend, when they collected four quarterback sacks in Iowa City. Michael Admire.